Whew. Good evening, everybody. Less is more. This morning, I learned that truly about myself. That's why I'm just now on the mat, and it is 543. So I wanted to do a little movement because I know that it was me being stuck inside myself and my thoughts that made me cranky this morning. And my daughter told me, Mommy, you're choosing that. So take your right foot inside your left thigh. It's one of my favorites, uh, just to open up and express when you don't have a lot of space or a lot of time. Take your left foot back behind you, broaden the collarbone, express out through your fingers, muscle energy, and then draw that energy back into your heart center so you feel this wingspan. Tilt to the left hand, root your finger pads or your downward dog hand down, and truly express your wingspan. Feel the muscles fully extending, especially those biceps. And then work that arm up in space and maybe even over towards the left. Keep both sitting bones down. Tone the lowest belly in. And then mindfully express this movement. And you get a lot of energy up through the side body, sideways. Move your neck too. And then on your next big in-breath, take it center. Say yes. I love that. Right hand to the mat. Keep your right or left sitting bone down. My lefts and rights always get tangled. So left sitting bone stays down. And again, it's that expression. So you're pressing the floor away with your right hand to fully express. You feel like a big wingspan coming on there. And then you can express that left arm over to the right, whatever way it feels yummy to you. Make sure that that right hand is supportive on a diagonal from the hip, because if you want to lift your hips, take it into that back bend. Say hello to my lotus. Feel what you're feeling, an expression of you. And guys, this is so good for your hips and your rib cage. Land your bum down. Simply switch sides. So left foot in, right foot back. And again, the other option is, and I teach this every day in yogastreamlive.com and yogasource.ca in the studio. You can take that leg out if your knee doesn't do that. Same thing, fingertips expand. Work it to the right. Feel you, feel alive. Feel that connection. Breathe deeply into your rib cage. It's right here, everything gets stuck. Left arm down, right arm expresses over. Keep the hip down first. Just find the expression of your arms. And then make sure that left arm is somewhere to support if you're lifting your hips up with your legs straight. Or again, that knee could be bent back, right? So opening up an expression. <sighs> Breathe, move the way your body feels like it needs to get that stuff out and land your bum. And what I mean by stuff is you know that I know that you know we all get stuck. Sticky, sticky stuff. So after a couple of movements and side bends and breaths, maybe you're ready to meditate and feel that you're starting to open up and the, that energy, that prana, that vital force, that oxygen whew, opens you up. If you prefer to sit on a bolster blanket before you meditate, please do. But this is a great opportunity for you to realize that in the movement, we're not judging how our emotions are, what they're doing. You're observing, you're aware that you are emotional. So for me, when I was feeling sticky today, and it wasn't until I moved my body, sticky meaning stuck in my anger, I was so frustrated. And then when I start to move, oh, everything started to it's okay. It's like watching the sky and it's Christine, pristine, Christine, crystalline, blue sky or infinite beautiful sky at night and it's so amazing. You can see the clarity of it and it's until the clouds come or the weather comes and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can't see the sky through all the weather, which are your thoughts. So I was clouded over with all of these thoughts today. And it was in the meditation when I realized that I observed my frustration and a little bit of complacency. And then I wasn't judging, I was observing. And it organically dissolves. And then there's clarity. No matter what storm is going on in your life, there's always a pristine, clear mind. Just like the pristine, clear sky behind all the weather systems, there is a clear sky. So from my light to your light, you can join me on the mat here in your humble space on yogastreamlive.com or join me on the mat at yogasource.ca. Again, we all have this opportunity to mindfully move our bodies and be the change we wish to see. You've got this. Namaste.